This is James Maloney from the Irish Farmers Journal here with Robin Nimick. I think I've got that right, is it? Yes, yeah, I have. Uh, uh, you're the managing director of uh, Gregor Besson for UK and Ireland. Yep. That's everyone. Robin, uh, we're here in the field with uh, your updated uh, semi mounted ploughs, uh, seven sod. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the plough, Robin? Or? Yep, it's been uh, improved since the, the last range. We're still using the same rack and pinion headstock principle on the, on the plough for turnover, which gives it smooth turnover. But it's just been beefed up compared to the older version. And then the stabiliser tube that runs down the side has also been um, improved. And then we have a, the, one of the largest wheels on the market for a mid-mounted wheel. As you can see, it's taken out by the last foot. The yeah, just track itself. I was just looking at that, Robin. It is. It, it's not out to the end of the plough. It's literally, I'd say, it's the last two sides. It seems to be in, yeah. in between. Yeah, it's about two thirds down the plough. That gives us good stability, a good turning circle, as you'll see now when we come to the headland, um, and gives us, you know, full control of the plough and a better depth control in, in uh, shorter undulating fields. So I'll show you the, the turn. We do what we call the light bulb effect. So up on the front. We can turn because it's articulated, then we turn up on the back, bring the back up, and then bring the plough over to the centre. It has a 110 degree turning circle, as you'll see. We have one of the tightest turning circles on the market. So we're turning almost the same as that five for a pound of plough was turning. And then as we come out and turn, we're back over. To work mode and then down on the front, down on the back, and away we go. It leaves it really neat on the headland, Robin. Yeah, yeah, you can if we if we're taking a proper scratch, you can sink all seven in and out nearly on the line. And Robin, uh, we have a, a 300, an Optum 300 case in front of it, but it seems to be at its complete ease. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, it's walking with it. To be honest, you'd think on this sort of land. 230, 250 horsepower would be sufficient yeah. for this plough because we're not worried about weight for lifting it. Yeah. We just need the, the weight of the tractor and the horsepower to pull it. And we're still getting enough traction or draft on the rear wheels as well. Yeah, yeah, because we can transfer the weight. We do we do a weight transfer kit for the plough, so we can we can fix a ram onto the plough which transfers weight forward or backwards from the tractor. But we can do the achieve the same with the top link, and that's all controlled from the crucifix. Which is behind us, the big pin, the vertical pin, that, that's controlling the weight transfer on the tractor. I'm just looking at the alignment of the, the plough here, Robin. It's running at true centre, the top link is yep. dead, dead, yep. it's well, dead it, square behind it. Like. Correct. Yeah, you know, you, you, you're not fighting the tractor, you can let go of the wheel, you know, it's, it's just pulling perfectly. Yeah. Robin, um, not to put you on the spot here, but roughly, uh, this is a, a, a six a six odd standard yes. with an add-on on the back yeah an add-on in the back and a potential add-on in the front correct. as well yep it can be made to eight for us yeah yeah correct. so we can start as a base six and go up to eight for us that's well let's your building stages i suppose is that the idea of it or yeah well then you've got the facility if it you know if it was really wet and, yeah. you, and you're on a 250 horsepower you can knock it down to six for us even though it's hydraulic very with as well uh, in terms of where is this, this plough is going to be priced on the market, Robin, where do you see it? It's in the state it's in now, with it being seven furrows um, and um, hydraulic auto reset, hydraulic vary width. It's going to be around the 50,000 mark. And have you finance on that at the minute, Robin? Yeah, yeah, there's finance available. Just looking at another headland turn here. Yeah, we're going to do a slightly different turn this time, only owing to the fact that the field's running away from us and that there's a, another plough coming up the top. Coming behind us, yeah. Um, so we'll do one, what's called a, a figure of eight. We'll just turn around in the field and then that'll allow us easier access. And doing that, we can roll the plough away from the, the wheels of the tractor with, without worrying that potentially the, the plough would end up into the wheels of the tractor. This, this will eliminate any of that risk. So now that we're turning away from the plough, I can roll it over into work mode, ready to... And there's no points going near any of the wheels because no, we're, right. we're under... Correct, everything's safe, so yeah. we're ready to go 
back into uh, to work. And because the headlands, uh, like I explained, it was running away from us, it gives us even more flexibility for turning in. Uh, I'd be right in saying, Robin, you actually wouldn't need a... You could do everything with this plough, finish the field completely. Oh, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. You oh, don't yeah, need... Yeah. No, no, uh, no need for anything yeah. else. Yeah. No need for anything else. And then you'll see we're ready to then set in again. And we'll set in. So we're down on that. But yeah, no, with this you can actually plough more of the field than the conventional mounted plough because the wheel's situated two thirds down the beam. You can plough with the back two furrows, as you just explained, it looks like there was the two furrows behind. So you can pull a corner out with just the back two furrows. As opposed to the mounted plough, you always have to wait for the back to drive in. This you can actually plough more of your field than you can with a mounted plough because you can just plough with the back two furrows. Very good. I'm just looking at the plough up ahead of us here, Robin. This is uh, a smaller plough, obviously. Uh, the R, is it an RY, RW, yeah, R, 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 RWI6? RWI6. Yeah. Uh, 6 furrow. Yes. Uh, no, 5 furrow. 5 furrow. 5 furrow. 5 furrow. Hydraulic very width. Um, and that's the, that's the uh, auto reason I've got the very version. What I'm really noticing is how, how well this, the sods are matching up between the two ploughs. Yeah, we're both running on uh, number 8 bodies. We're both running on 16 inch furrows. Um, so yeah, it's matching very nicely. Robin, that's brilliant. Thanks a million. No problem.